Hello, Dan Housen here. Dan Housen here to let you know that you are watching Dre41 Gaming. They do video games of some sort. Who knows? Dan Housen doesn't. But they are very nice, very evil. Do time. And if you do not watch this channel, you shall rue the day. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Dre41, a.k.a. Mr. 4K, a.k.a. El Fuego. Spicy Dre, aka I am the Ops, and welcome to an episode of Rating Those Championships. Now, this is the inaugural show. I, it's it's going to be batchy. It is what it is. <laughs> First and foremost, let me just put it out there. It's just this is how the show is going to be. Now, what I wanted to do on this video is kind of give my opinion slash ranking of heavyweight championships and professional wrestling today now i wanted to go through let me see one two three four six companies is it six companies one two three four five no five companies yeah so i wanted to, to go over uh world championships and five different companies now these five different companies i feel like are the top five in america i'm just doing america I know people want to add, you know, maybe Mexico or Japan or Europe. We're, we're not doing that. We're just sticking with American companies. And the companies that I have, number one, of course, WWE. Number two, AEW. Number three, by proxy, I guess, would be Ring of Honor. Even it's kind of its own company, but more or less it is its own company, sort of. Uh, we got Impact Wrestling, and we also got MLW. So first and foremost, I'm just going to give, what is it, notable mention to the WWE world title. I don't like the design, honestly. I feel like, just looking at it, it has that big, gaudy WWE logo in the middle. Now, I get it. They tried to go with the world heavyweight title, which people are saying this was Triple H's idea. And, you know, he wanted a championship that looked like the world heavyweight championship, the big gold. Now, the side plates, I'm not mad at. The side plates look cool. I can run with those all day. The big WWE logo, which is a marketing thing, I get it. You don't have to tell me. It's a marketing thing, great. I just don't like the design of the big WWE logo with the globe with nothing in it. And then the world champion on the top and bottom. Um, of the globe. Um, I feel like they took an incredible design and kind of made it gaudy, throwing the WWE logo in the middle of it. I mean, that's just how I feel. I don't think it's a great title design because of that, like, gaudiness in the middle. Overall, if they made the WWE logo smaller, put it at the top of the, uh, the main plate, and then like world champion at the bottom. Cool, take the globe out. We don't need the globe. Matter of fact, make the globe smaller in the middle. Maybe throw like an eagle on there or something. That would have been hard. Like that would have been amazing if they would have did that, but they just got this thing where they have to have the WWE logo in the middle. And I will get into it later with other companies doing the same thing and me feeling differently about it. But right now, honorable mention goes to the WWE World Heavyweight title. Now, the number five, the one that I feel like is not a great championship design is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I don't know. It's the one Roman Reigns has both of them. It's the WWE World title and the Universal title. Both of them have no type of anything that really stands out. When you have multiple championships in WWE and they have four of them, that all look the same, it's really hard for it to really stand out. And I know people who grew up with these with this championship design and this is all they know. This isn't the best design by WWE. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't personally like it. Um, I feel like it's just, once again, big WWE logo, nothing really special about it. It's just a championship with WWE logos and bedazzled. That's it. There's no character to it. It doesn't look prestigious. It looks gaudy. 
and that's just is what it is. It's kind of like them still utilizing um, the John Cena spinner joint when designing this. Like, oh, let's throw all the diamonds and rubies we can in it. It looks, eh, I don't like it. I don't like it. So that's number five. Number four, the one that I would mess with is actually the Impact Wrestling World Championship. And here's the thing about it, right? I'm looking at it and it kind of reminds me of like an Aztec kind of design. Now, it's multi-plated, which is hard. I like that. I like the multi-plated. It has a futuristic but an Aztec kind of look to it with like the, the, the square, the squaring, the sharp edges, but it has the, the owl on it. I like it. It's orange. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a different color. I, I probably with it. You know what I'm saying? It looks, it doesn't look like a, a huge championship that people should be fighting for, but it looks like the underdog kind of championship, like a, a championship where they get nitty and gritty in their matches and they really go all out. And um, I like that. You know what I'm saying? So I got to give it to Impact Wrestling for number four. Number three, I'm going to go have to go with the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. Now, this isn't the best design for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Honestly, not the best. If I was to rank all of the Ring of Honor Championships, this probably won't be top three. Probably won't be top three, but currently, because it stands out, I have to put it here. Um, I like how it has the Ring of Honor in the middle, not big and gaudy. You know what I'm saying? It's there, it's in red, you can see it. Um, it's nothing too crazy. It's a really simplistic design, kind of has the sun rays effect um, on the top and bottom half of it. The side plates have wrestling moves being done on them. Pretty cool. Looks like one is a gut wrench, another one is possibly a pile driver. It's silver. Which is, it's different. And I think that the Ring of Honor world title now does look good. It's not the best design. Not the best design, but it looks good. And it's different. It doesn't need to be like some big, outrageous gold championship. It doesn't need to do that. I appreciate it for what it is. So I have to put Ring of Honor world title there. Um, The number two championship, I'm going to have to say is the MLW World Heavyweight Championship. I know people are like, what? What are you talking about? Why? Like, why? Here's the thing, right? Let's let's take a look at it. For whatever reason, it's giving me WWE Undisputed Championship vibes. I hate using that word vibes. Let's just put it out there. I, I hate it. Um, it has the royalty to it. A lot of, like, royal etching in it. It's one plate, which it's fine, but it's multicolored. It has the white, the red... The black it has the gold in there. It has the the, the world, um, the globe in there, um, with stars around it. It has like royal crowns, uh, foliage in there, and it's square. It's different. It's shaped different, and I think that's what um, is missing sometimes when it comes to world titles. People always have this base that they go off of. And I think a great world title is a championship that stands out on its own and doesn't need to copy or imitate another type of design. Now, I know you say that, well, that's a con contradictor. I mean, the WWE title is different. So what? We ain't talking about that. We're talking about the MLW championship. Even the side plates have the globe on the side, keeping it simple, nothing too crazy. I appreciate it for what it is. Number one, let the hate begin. Let the hate begin, and I'm about to let y'all guys understand why I feel like this is the number one world heavyweight title in the United States. It's the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. Now, y'all saying, like, why? Why would it be the AEW Championship here? I'll tell you why. Number one, it has a elegance to it. Not a lot of, like, royal designs to it, curly, like, swervy lines, anything like that. Um, a lot of jewelry on it. It's multi-plated. I enjoy a multi-plated championship. Gotta put it out there. I enjoy multi-plated championships. 
and AEW has that. Another thing that it has going forward is you put the nameplate on it. Very old school, and I think that's very prestigious too. When you get your name etched in the championship, that's an amazing thing. I like that they have it on the AEW championship. Big thumbs up. Now, here's the thing what people say, oh, well, you hate the WWE, the new WWE championship, but AEW does the same thing. Now, do they have a huge AEW logo in the middle of it? Sure. We see. But here's the thing. It's a new company, and this is the first championship design. I feel like eventually they'll have the second design, because I'm pretty sure they're going to redesign the world title eventually. It always happens in wrestling. No wrestling company ever keeps the same world title design. I know some people are going to say NWA, but they kind of change it a little bit. A little bit. And honestly, I don't really even like that title design. I don't. That's... Mm. Um, <laughs> another thing that I feel like they did really well on it is the shape of it. Definitely stands out. And I will say, like, the main plate is three. I want to say the main plate is, like, three plates. Um, because... It's, maybe it's a side plate. Okay. It has four side plates. It's fine. So, <laughs> the four side plates are the globe. I really like that. It has a little bit of bedazzling on it, which... It is what it is. You know, we can't say anything about that. Um, I like the the contrast of the silver and the gold, kind of like a, a a trim design, a you know, gold, silver, gold, silver, gold kind of deal, which is great. The center of it doesn't have a globe; it has a little diamond, uh, north and south, which is great. I really like that. That really that really makes it stand out. Now the WW, the AEW logo. Um, in the middle of it, yes, it stands out, and it and it they want you to see it because it's a new company. They want you to know what that company is. WWE has been around for how God knows how long, you know. So I think with that, WWE doesn't need to put the logo so front and center because it. When most people say, "Oh, you watch wrestling," you watch WWE. People assume that because what they take as wrestling is WWE. So you don't need to do that. Like, MMA. Most people say, oh, I watch MMA. No, people mostly say, I watch UFC because the brand is so big. You don't need to sit there and have a big logo on it, which UFC does. But, you know, it is what it is. That's something that they always did, to be honest. But um, I feel like the AEW Championship is the best championship in America right now, uh, best-looking world championship in America right now. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm bugging? What order would you take as far as championships go from number five to number one? And just stick to American wrestling companies. Let me know. Is it an independent wrestling company? Do you have maybe MLW at number one? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you want to see more episodes like this, let me know what championships you want me to do. Maybe mid-card, tag team championships, women's championships. Let me know. Other than that, you guys stay safe. Catch on in the next video. Later.